pandemic now seems like ancient history. Why do I say that? Well, because 1,500 people have come here to Geneva for the WISIS Forum 2023. And they've come from over 150 countries. And what they're doing here is hoping to share and learn from each other. And each day, I'll give you an update on what's happening here. The new chair of the forum wants to share best practices from her experience as Minister of Digital Transformation in Slovenia. One of our top priorities is digital inclusion, and by digital inclusion we mean access to internet, uh, but also uh, knowledge and skills how to use uh, all the uh, potential that the digital technologies are offering to our citizens. There have been some really high-powered meetings on day one. For example, ambassadors have been gathering. And right here behind me, you've got mayors from around the world meeting as well. They're discussing here how to turn their cities into smart cities and be able to handle climate change more rapidly and more efficiently. Mayors from the Philippines to South Korea and Saudi Arabia all face the same issues and potential consequences from global warming. We're here because we want to listen and hear from current cities the way they are being run, the challenges they face. We're building something from zero. 30 UN agencies are involved in organizing this summit. As in the past, the ITU has a key role. Its new Secretary General has big ambitions. So we had a number of targets we were supposed to achieve in 2015, like connecting all the world schools, and half of the world schools are still not connected. I really believe we can achieve that goal, I hope by 2030, if not before, and make sure that every school in the world is connected to the internet and every young person to information, opportunity and choice. The challenges are daunting. Nearly 3 billion people still don't have internet access and by far the majority are women. Tackling that divide is at the core of this summit.